Hi, I'm Anthony Yoder, and today we're gonna go through the steps to setting up your camping trailer. Before you get any of this started, you're gonna wanna keep three things in mind. First, you wanna make sure that your tent trailer is level. I'll show you how to do that here soon. Two, when running up your roof, you wanna make sure that your guide wire is taut. No slack in it at all, make sure it is taut. And then number three, if your tent trailer has scissor poles, you wanna make sure you get those out before you set your beds up. On any of our limited models that do not have the scissor poles, you will do your beds before you do the poles, but anything with a scissor pole, you wanna make sure those are out before the beds. So let's get started here. I've already run down three of the four jacks, but I'll show you how to run this front one down so we can see. The jack crank is provided, so all you have to do is attach it and run that down. And again, you want to make sure that your trailer is level before starting this entire process of setup. And running your stabilizer jacks down first will ensure you are level. So once all your jacks are down, the next step, you've got latches on all your corners. You want to go and make sure all of those are unlatched. Now that you have all of your roof latches off, the next step is to raise your roof. Many of our trailers have a power winch. This one is shown without it. Any of your power winches, there is an automatic override as well. Uh, they wanted to make me work harder today, so we're gonna have to do the manual crank here. And again, remember, when running up that roof, you wanna make sure this is taut. This isn't quite there, it is still a little loose. So I wanna do one more crank. You don't want it loose, you don't want slack, and you don't wanna over tighten it. So you see that there? That's pretty much perfect right there. That's gonna to lead to a better, more successful setup for you. So once you get there, you're gonna come around here, open this door here, and get your scissor poles. And remember, scissor poles out before you pull your beds out. Scissor poles are gonna be stored underneath your mattress. With your scissor poles, you'll remember one or two things. The black tip is for the back beds, and then your white tips are for your front beds. So we'll get both of those white tip poles out first and get those set. So with these, you'll see all your placements here. I always like to go right in the center one up front here on both sides, in there, and then you'll have another spot right there to set that in place. And the same thing over on the other side here. In the center slot, you wanna make sure you're the same slot on both sides and then in there. And then you'll go around and do your ones for the back. Remember, white tip in front, the black tips going back. So same thing here. In the rear on this one, you do have four slots. In that case, I do like to do it on the third. So third from the top, same setup, in there, then in up top. And then in here, and in up top. So now that you have those set up, you can do your beds. I'll start here on the back bed, make our way to the front bed. You lift up this flap here, you will see a small handle you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're pulling right from the center. If you pull more on one side or the other, it's gonna make it more difficult to get that bed out. 
So if you use the back of the trailer here for a little leverage, start that pull, bring it all the way out until you feel some resistance there, and that's nice and set. Now you'll go around to the front and do the same thing. Again, you'll find your handle right in the center. Even pressure right there in the middle. Give it a good tug. Until you feel resistance. There we go. Now one of the things you want to do is on your beds, they have secure snaps here to wrap around the corner. So you've got a tab snap here, and then you've got your tab underneath there. You're gonna snap that into place, bring that around the corner. Later on, we'll do our Velcro and get our rain flap over the top there. So you'll have one of those in each corner. Again, line that corner up with the corner, find your snap, snap it in. We'll go through and do the same thing on the back side. Line your corner up with the corner, come underneath, find your snap. Same thing here. Then before we do the inside, we are gonna do your slide out. Not all models have a slide out, this model does. If you do indeed have a slide model, you'll have a latch on each side. What you're gonna to wanna to do is unlatch that first. So you go up and turn. Again, up and turn. And then just like on your beds, even pressure right in the middle. Give it a pull until you feel resistance. Don't pull too much. So now that you have your beds out, your slide outs, your jacks are down, you've made sure your guide wire's taut, now it's time to go inside, but before we do, we will take your travel door off. So your travel door is just a half door that is only used when traveling down the road. You do have a one piece door for your regular camping setup. So this actually pops right off, right out of the hinges there. And there is a spot in the back to hang this while you are camping. You look underneath here, same setup as your door there. So you've got the same setup as your door. You've got your hinges here. Slide that in. Then you've got a bungee cord to wrap around here and hold that in place. Before you take the tent trailer down, ensure that you remove this door. Make certain you do that before tearing down for the day. So when we go inside, first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do, get your steps out, get your handle out. That way when you're going inside, you've got something to grab onto, something to step on. And the first step when you're inside, you set up your kitchen. Your kitchen actually controls your lights there. So if you see that tab there in the corner, once that kitchen makes contact with that, it turns your lights on. Just like that, your lights are on. Now you're ready to do your interior setup. Now that we're on the inside of the trailer, the first thing you wanna do is zip all four corners. You'll have zips on all your corners and you can do these from outside. It's just easier to reach them from the inside. So you start them and you can actually finish it from the outside. So once your corners are zipped, you can move on to putting your bed rafter poles out. Each rafter pole is gonna be underneath the corresponding bed. You wanna make sure that the curved end is towards the inside of the tent trailer and the straight end is towards the outside. So we'll come in here, lift up 
your tent material, find the end of your rafter pole, and there is a center point there that that'll fit right into. Walk it out slowly there. Once there's some resistance, you'll come here and there's actually a ledge right here that you can put both hands on to make this a lot easier. Give yourself a pull here and latch that into place. You can then tighten your cargo net on each end if you need to. Get that set into place for clothes, blankets, books, whatever. Come up front, do the same thing on this bed. Remember, curved end towards the inside, straight end towards the outside. Then remember the trick, take your hands, put it on that ledge there, give it a good push, and it's in. That way you're set. So now, before you finish setting up the beds, each bed will have pins on each side. You're gonna push those out, latch those into place. So one pin each side. Push it out far enough, latch it into place. Same thing on this bed. Push it all the way the rest of the way out, snap into place. Finish it up on this side. So now that your beds are set, we can go and now do your slide out rafter post. Again, not all models have a slide out, but if you do, you'll do the same process as you did there on your beds. Straight port out, curved part in. This one's a little bit easier, so you don't need to have as much pressure there. And that snaps right in. Then from there on your slide models, what I like to do is just like your bed corners have pins, I like to pin those in on each side. So you keep all that secure and pin that into place. Then you can set your ends up here for later on when you put your cushions in place there. Then one of the things you wanna do is all your Velcro around your slide outs. So you're gonna Velcro that whole area into place. Start where the Velcro starts and stop where the Velcro stops. That way you make sure you are fully sealed. So you can do that on both sides. And you can also do this from the outside. Doesn't matter which way you do it, just as long as you do get that fully sealed. Then from here, you're gonna grab your support posts. Each model comes with two support posts. You're gonna to wanna to put this one on each corner. I do front corner and then back corner. And I'll show you how to do that here. So you take this end here, the pointed end, and you slide it right onto your, your lift post here and snap it into place. So now that's set, you can go through, do your Velcro. And then same thing with this one. So since I did the front corner here, I'm gonna do the back left corner for this other one. You can do this corner and that corner but just make sure it's opposite corners. Again, pointed end, slide it up, get that all the way to the roof, and snap it in. Then again, you can do your Velcro. So now that those are set, you can go inside and do your entry door. Your entry door is held into place right here at the door by a tab and then tabbed in here as well. There are support guide wires as well. So once you unsnap these, it is supported. So you walk up, twist that, get your door out, get to a comfortable position where you can slide it out slowly. 
Get that door out. And set it in. So what you can do is you've got twists up front or up top here, twist that into place. Then you'll have some right here as well. Down at the bottom too, if you need to, for a little bit of help, you can open that door, push down from the end or from the bottom to get that one in place. Same thing on this side. Twist that in place, twist that one in place, and then you do have one on the bottom too. So now that your door is set, you can go through on the inside first and do your Velcro right at the door here. I'm gonna line that up, make sure it's flush. Same thing this side, line that up. Grab this bottom piece and do that there. Now that your door's in place and your Velcro's on the inside, you can then make your way to the outside and do the same process here. I like to use the step to make sure that I'm getting the top, getting that all sealed up. So you do both sides of your door. Now for your final steps, you've got your rain flaps on the ends of your beds here, but you've got more Velcro. So underneath there's another Velcro strip. Come under here, pull this out, make sure that's Velcroed in place. Then take your rain flap, drop that down, make sure that's covering everything right here on the end as well. Same thing this side, put your Velcro in place, run it along here, take your rain flap, make sure it's tight. Then once your tent is Velcroed down, you've got bungee straps on each bed You'll unravel that. Take that from one side to the other. Make sure you go over these poles and attach it and secure it on the other side, right in the eyelet. You'll do that up front as well. Then here, again, you've got more Velcro. Line it up here. Get that in place. You do have Velcro here on the edges too, so you can get in place. This so way you're going to make sure everything's sealed up. We already started the dinette here, but you can do that further at this point. Get that rain flap out again. Finish this side up then. We did a pretty good job on the inside with that one. So you've got your rain flap down there. Velcro here into place. Then again, Velcro on the bed ends. Rain flap down. Velcro. Rain flap. Get your Velcro here on the side. And one last piece here. You're Velcroed into place. So that is how you set up a Forest River tent trailer. Remember, the three things to keep in mind while doing this is to make sure that your trailer is level. So run all your jacks down first and make sure you're level. Number two, when running up that roof, your guide wire, it should be taut. Don't have any slack there. Don't over tighten it. And then the last thing to remember, number three, is if you have scissor poles, get those out and set those before you run the beds out. If you do have any more questions over tent trailer setup, please contact us at forestriverinc.com. We'd be glad to help with any questions that you do have. Thanks for joining us today.